Our final story tonight is about the sun. It has released its strongest solar flare of the year. It was an X 5.1 class event. That basically means it was a very powerful solar explosion. The solar flare was detected early Tuesday morning. The burst came from a large and active sunspot. That means an active region on the sun's surface. It sent a wave of radiation towards the Earth that caused radio blackouts across Africa and Europe. It briefly disrupted radio communications used by flights and ships. The flare also released a cloud of hot gas and charged particles. Experts say it is now moving towards the Earth at a high speed. When it arrives, it could disrupt GPS and satellites. But there's also a silver lining. It could create spectacular auroras in the sky. Here's a report. Something extraordinary just happened on the sun. Early Tuesday morning, a massive flash burst from its surface. It was bright, powerful, and impossible to ignore. Scientists say it was the strongest solar flare of the year. It's classified as an X5.1 event. That number tells scientists how powerful it is. Solar flares are ranked by strength in five classes, A, B, C, M, and X. Each letter means ten times more energy than the last. So, X class is the highest category, the kind that can affect Earth directly. This was the most intense flare since October last year. The blast came from a large, unstable region on the sun called AR4274. That's a sunspot, a darker area on the surface of the sun. Sunspots look dark because they are cooler than their surroundings. But beneath them, magnetic fields are extremely active. They twist, stretch, and store huge amounts of energy. When that energy becomes too much, the magnetic field suddenly breaks. That release of energy is what we call a solar flare. The radiation from this flare reached Earth in about eight minutes. That's how long it takes light to travel from the sun. When it hit the upper atmosphere, it caused a strong radio blackout. According to the U.S. Space Weather Prediction Center, this was an R3 level event, indicating it was a strong one. High-frequency radio signals over Africa and Europe were briefly disrupted. But the flare wasn't over yet. It also released a coronal mass ejection, or CME. That's a giant cloud of hot gas and charged particles moving through space. Imagine billions of tons of solar material racing outward at incredible speed. This one is traveling at about 4.4 million miles an hour. When that cloud reaches Earth, it could trigger what scientists call a geomagnetic storm. That happens when solar particles collide with Earth's magnetic field. The stronger the impact, the stronger the disturbance. Such storms can affect satellites, GPS systems, and even power grids on the ground. But not every effect is harmful. Geomagnetic storms also create something spectacular, the auroras. When solar particles hit the atmosphere, they make gases glow in different colors. That creates the northern and southern lights. This time, those lights could appear much farther south than usual. Scientists say this surge in activity is part of a bigger cycle. The sun goes through an 11-year rhythm of calm and chaos. During its peak, known as the solar maximum, flares and eruptions become far more common. This latest flare is a clear sign that the solar maximum is getting close. For scientists, it's a chance to study the sun more closely. For everyone else, it's a reminder that what happens on the sun doesn't stay there. Want the facts? The latest developments. News that gets straight to the point. Well, we've got all three just for you. This is First Post Live, a brand new show. Your window into what really matters. Don't miss it.